Good morning, crafters. It's Muriel here with the episode of Miss Cooper's Coop After Dark. It is quite early. I am up very early. It's Saturday morning. I don't know. It seems that my body just knows what time to get up since it does that five days a week. That on the weekends, I just am, it's like clockwork. I'm up. So, um, if I can't turn over and <clears throat> go back to sleep, I just get up and, you know, mosey around, get things done, get the clothes ready to be, uh, to go into the dish, uh, washing machine. I get dishes ready to go into the dishwasher. I don't start anything because it is quite early. I believe it's a little after six. But I got up and I finished just little touches on another batch of Christmas tags that I have been um, still making. I just feel like I just want to make them until the end of November and then I'll be packaging them up. So I'm just uh, looking around my room at uh, unique tags and unique envelopes and watching uh, YouTube channels and being inspired. And let me show you what uh, I came up with uh, this week. I have a yummy cup of coffee here I am enjoying. The house is quiet. It's just a beautiful thing. So, there's only six of them, but you know, six tags can take six weeks to make sometimes. So, um, I made this one here. This is a quite large tag. I, I don't know exactly how um, tall it is, but maybe one of those eight inch tags, I guess. Excuse me, like a six inch, six and a half by three or four, something like that. And I did uh, have some inspiration um, while making this. But basically, I am using three different pattern papers from different collections. I know that's a um, Graphic 45. I don't know what this plaid is, and I don't know what this green is. But um, I just layered the green on the bottom, layered all that strip there, and then that pattern there. <coughs> um, as the tutorial showed, and I pulled out some dimensional stickers, some hollies, um, some images that I had. And um, she used some of these um, wreaths, which I don't know about you, but I have a bag full. I keep them in a plastic bag. There was the green ones, the white ones, along with uh, trees. So it was good to see this video to use those on these tags. Um, also on the tags are some of the Tim Holtz holiday flashcards. And I'm thankful that I'm able to use some of those. Um, and some of his rub-ons too. He calls them remnant rub-ons. And they are Christmas. So you get these. I picked these up at, hop, at Tuesday morning. So they're black ones. And then there are some white ones. Okay, so very simple. Um, I use some washi tape. That card there is just a strip of washi tape. And there is a gold strip of washi tape too. Um, and then coupled with some twine. And the tag is so large that on the back I wanted to do something. So I just put a die cut of a tree and a tag that says Christmas. Okay. And then the second one is very similar. Um... This is a different holly um, um, dimensional piece here. Um, the flashcards, and then I used the uh, Comfort and Joy. I took a uh, sticker and um, a rub on and rubbed it on that little die cut there. Have the word 25, again, washi, and some of the twine. And that's that tag, and on the back it looks like that. So I was happy with those, but after I finished those, I was like, okay, let me move on. So I looked in my, um, I call it my tag box, and found some of these smaller tags and wanted to decorate those as well. Tag, excuse me, these are envelopes. And I wanted, I was looking hard to uh, see where I purchased them from because these um, policy envelopes, this is on the bottom of them. They say Happy Holidays. And the only thing I can find, because I pulled them out of 
this pack from Recollections, and I probably had this for a couple of years. But this was a set of policy envelopes, and it says six pieces. <clears throat> but there are four of those policy envelopes and three of these. So I'm really not sure whether they were in this pack, but they're similar because this has this printed on the bottom of it, and they're blank on the opposite side. And this is made with some really um, heavy-duty craft paper. I mean, really stiff, really hard. Um, and that's what I liked about those. So I thought I would make some of those policy envelopes and call them, you know, like maybe if you wanted to put some money in them, some money gift card um, envelope tags. That's it, money gift card envelope tags. Um, so, so basically what I did was um, I used two pattern papers from this collection here, Deck the Halls, and I coupled it with <clears throat> this these stickers. I was trying to make sure that the greens were matching. So this is some stickers that I picked up at Tuesday morning. And I recall telling you the story how it was the whole pack of like all 20 of the same. Which I think should have been sold separately. But <clears throat> so I was able to use a good amount of some of the same things. So they kind of match the greens. So those are the two that I began creating with. <clears throat> so I used my um, stitch die and cut out uh, two patterns and layered them on top. The sticker is from the sticker sheet of the snowman. The Merry Christmas is also from the sticker sheet. I have it mounted on some foam tape I picked up at Michael's. Um, I put a few snowflakes uh, sequins and what has fallen off has fallen off. That's fine. I'm finally able to use some more of these bows. I showed these bows my last haul video. I have four left. I am dying to use all four of those. But I made those probably a year and a half ago just using my bow die. There's another sticker there that says Let It Snow. And then I took some of the um, twine that I picked up. This is at Target this year. Excuse me. Trim, but really pretty. It's a red and white. And I used my tiny attacher and stapled it to the top of the envelope. And um, I wanted to get it on the envelope, but still allow the envelope to be open. So on the back, I used from the sticker sheet, um, a green sticker and then I put some of these stars on top just to cover up the um, part of that envelope and then a December sticker so it still can open you just open up the twine the envelope will open and it's really again some really hard uh, craft paper that these were made with but I thought they would be cute you could hang them on a tree if you wanted to put cash money in it how cute would that be right and then you can always um, put your to and from on the back so it can pose as a ornament or it can pose as a gift tag uh, money envelope. So they're all the same. Again, the the uh, tag, the sticker sheets that I used had everything. So it was easy to put these together. This one looks like this with the white bow. Same stuff on the back, just using the red paper and two black stars. This one has the red bow. Um, different stars with uh, green punch out and the punch outs match the top layer of the pattern paper once I cut this down the piece was left over I just used my circle punch and cut out the two circles there and then the last one has also this pretty white bow with stars on it or snowflakes um, December 25th and on the back, again, I used that top gingham pattern paper to cut out the circles and then add the stars and put on the sticker. So those are the four that I made. Um, I only had four. I, I can't believe it, but I'm, I'm almost sure. I'll show you this again. I'm almost sure that it came from this pack. You remember this this collection of um, recollections I believe was from last year they every year they tend to change their packaging color design so um, these are the envelopes that were in there show the front again they already have this pattern this printed down here and they are very uh, stiff maybe some heavyweight poly, uh, craft paper 
so that was my share for you guys it's early again so I'm going to um, I have another project I want to start I've been watching a um, youtuber called halo creative designs she does a lot of reefs and um, she made some she covered some fabric balls and um, I've done that before I did it uh, with some um, fall designs and of course all my fall stuff is put away so I'm going to be covering some in some Christmas fabric and uh, nestling those in under the tree so I'm going to try my hand at that I'm certainly going to um, <clears throat> come back and show you guys because it's all about sharing and if there's any of these ideas that I can help you guys uh, with with creating I certainly want to so I hope everyone is having a great day. My day today will be uh, pulling out the Christmas stuff. We're going to go ahead and get it all out and hopefully up this weekend. And uh, in the meantime, doing some crafting and my sister's on the East Coast making lots of reefs. So we're been in touch with each other via um, video. And uh, just it's just really good to see how she's taken on this interest of crafting. I really, really uh, enjoy sharing this craft with her. So again, take care you guys and I'm sure I'll be back several times today. Okay, have a good one. Bye now.